Greetings YouTubers, uh, it's January 25th, 2017 and uh, here's my la latest project. It is a dry pollen feeder. It consists of a, I think it's a 4 inch tube, which is about uh, 14 inches or so long and uh, put a downspout type of uh, connector on the front for the bees to access it and also as you can see I put a half inch uh, hardware cloth on there to keep the mice out, the birds out, and the squirrels out. And what you do is you uh, screw off the back here and uh, you can put a couple scoops or a couple pollen inside the uh, tube here and the bees will come in and uh, gather the pollen and take it back to the hive. So that's the plan. Um, didn't spend a lot of money on this because the tube I already had laying around in the yard. It's just scrap from another project. And uh, this is a back the top of a mayonnaise jar. So that worked out well. So I didn't have to buy it. The only thing I had to buy was this piece here and that's about $5 and I already had the hardware cloth. So anyway, we're gonna load her up and see how she works. Okay, it's uh, February 2nd, 2017, and this is part two of the pollen feeder. And as you can see, the bees are using it. Um, I put a couple scoops in there. It's kind of dark in the back. It looks like I'm going to have to reload it though because the bees have, uh, looks like they got most of the pollen out of there from what I can tell. That's just the dry pollen and uh, people will argue pros and cons of open feeding of pollen but from my experience, there's a bee flying around my head. Um, the problem with open feeding is it can cause uh, insight robbing too. So this was an experiment to see how it works. I don't see a ton of bees going in there, but there's still quite a few going in and out. But what I did discover, one of my neighbors told me that her chicken feeder was getting uh, robbed by the bees. So it's one of the reasons why I decided to put this in. I figure that when it gets warm they want to do something if there's no pollen around they can go here so it's cheap and easy to make and uh, gives the bees something to do when it gets warm out I don't know it's not that warm out today I guess it's probably upper 40s at best so yeah there's a lot of bees going out of there now and as I said before, you just unscrew the back here and uh, you can load it up with additional pollen. And the stuff that I've been using is from Man Lake and it's called Ultra Bee, 60% crude protein. And uh, I've had good luck with their pollen patties and uh, this is no commercial, I have no vested interest in them, but they seem to work pretty good though. <laughs> All right, anyway, that's it. Okay, this is uh, part three of the video and uh, I opened up the back and as you can see, it's pretty much empty of pollen. So I'm gonna have to put some more in there. You can see the bees are coming in from the front door. <laughs> There's a couple going back here in the back. So, so the screw top makes it kind of easy to fill it up. Anyway, that's it. If you like these videos, hit the button down in the corner there, the red button, and subscribe, and you get these videos free of charge. And please, do not send me any money. Be happy. Okay, I just reloaded the uh, uh, feeder with some pollen. And man, look at the bees. It's just like they know it was coming. Um, I just did it a 30 seconds ago and look at the number of bees on it now man they're going there's a little bit I dropped at the top 
they're picking it up. So nothing in bloom. They got to do something. Mm -hmm. And it's either this or their my neighbor's chicken feeder, and she didn't seem too happy about the bees in her chicken feeder. So anyway, that's it.